I tell the students that it's not about numbers and it's not about math as they've ever known it before, but it's about how to think about things differently. And because math is really a way of thinking, yes, there are certain topics that work better mathematically, so numbers are things that you can study logically, whereas animals, not so much. So we tend to study the things that you can study logically, but what it's really about is how to think about the world through this logical lens. And the art students, they're all about thinking about things. What they, that's what they really want to do. They love thinking about the world and learning new ways of thinking about it. And abstraction is something that, well, abstract art is one form of abstraction. And it's where you make connections between different things. So you have maybe two apples and you have two bananas and you have two monkeys. And then you say that the thing they have in common is that there's two of each of them. And so even numbers are fundamentally making connections between different things by ignoring certain details. And so the elegance of abstraction is a course where I show students how ignoring certain details and focusing only on the things that you care about now, that is a way of understanding the world and thinking about it more clearly. Even though once you've forgotten those details, they're not the same objects anymore. You know, two isn't the same as two monkeys. You've forgotten that they're monkeys. But the fact, the fact is that when you perform that abstraction, on the one hand, you feel like your feet really aren't on the ground anymore. But on the other hand, you get to see connections between things. And my students, the art students, they love seeing connection between things. And they tell me that after they've taken my class, it really has more relevance to them, including their life and all their art practice.